I'm meteorologist Bobby J. As you're getting out across the area for this Tuesday, cooler temperatures, 50s and lower 60s, and yes, more rain and wind, especially the wind in Northern California, east of the Cascades and along the coastline. Could still see some gusts like yesterday above 30 miles per hour. Good coverage of showers, especially through the morning hours. Cold front then moves through, and we're going to see more of the scattered showers, but we're going to see some colder temperatures uh, after that front moves through as well, especially here tonight. What you're going to start to notice in the Cascades is a little bit of some snow showing up on pinpoint forecast, and that's likely to continue through Wednesday morning. Now, this is for the higher terrain, not expecting expecting any travel issues across our area, uh, but we still continue with the shower coverage here in the West Valley. You still see some showers for much of Wednesday, though we'll start to start to taper out of those chances as we're getting through the later afternoon and evening hours looking a little bit drier into Thursday. Good setup of that precipitation could see some amounts getting up to an inch. If not a little bit more, there is a potential of some storms into the western half of our area. And with that, we could see some higher rainfall rates and some gusty wind, but likely to see uh, anywhere from around a quarter to a half of an inch of rain here in the valley up to a quarter of an inch for our eastern counties and Crater Lake. Some of the higher terrain of the Cascades could see up to around two to five inches inches of snow. Now you have to think we had some very warm temperatures over the weekend, so even as this falls, it's likely going to be melting pretty quickly as we're getting through tonight and also through early Wednesday. Uh, we will see some increasing clouds and that slight chance for some showers continuing into this weekend. Uh, not the best setup, but what we'll see more of is cloud cover, which is unfortunate because we have the solar eclipse on Saturday and that is going to be moving across the area with that we, Medford almost in the path of totality. We have a 94% totality here in the city. Uh, just to our north is where we have that 100% totality. And as you're seeing, 9 o'clock hour, unfortunately, mostly cloudy sky, which uh, continues for much of Saturday as well. Otherwise, staying cool for the next couple of days, returning to some seasonal high temperatures as we're getting into the end of this week and this weekend. Looking at those upper 60s, lower 70s, returning, though we will see some chillier morning temperatures, lower 40s for your Thursday and Friday morning. Again, slight chance for showers into this weekend. Climate Falls area will get out of those rain chances as we're getting through Wednesday, mostly sunny on Thursday, still a little breezy into Wednesday afternoon and cloudy with the slight chance of showers this weekend. Uh, today's the main round of rain that's expected across our area, and we'll see some additional shower chances again with some developing systems later on in the later half of this weekend for this weekend. 50s, lower 60s for the coastline. Morning temperatures into the 40s and lower 50s.